Welcome to the Knacklers Workshop. I'm Paul. In today's video I will complete, well, well nearly, uh, the final part of the disassembling of the Unimat SL lathe. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're all fit and fine. All tickety boo here in the Nicholas workshop. So um, today, today's video, uh, we're going to look at how I disassembled the power feed attachment. Um, as you can see, uh, I have a pile of parts here, so the job's effectively done. Uh, but there's, uh, there is still one thing that needs to be done, but I'll, I'll show you that as we. Uh, progress through the video. So um, let me I'll step through the process I uh, followed to uh, uh, take this this uh, power feed assembly apart or attachment apart. Okay so we have uh, the two one there one there mounting uh, feet and as we saw in one of the previous videos the SL just sits on top of those. Um, so uh, first of all, I so we turned them upside down, and through the through here, five mil Allen key, unscrew the uh, yeah. So in there, unscrew the uh, cap head bolt, and so effectively that will lift off, and then you do the same at the other end, exactly identical. Same bolt, and then this this side will come off. So, so that's the first step. Pretty easy. Makes it a little bit easier to uh, manhandle it once we're once we're off. Um, so then, on this part, we've got the uh, effectively the lever that you pull back and forward to engage or disengage the power feed. So this is relatively simple to. Uh, disassemble so you unscrew the the knob that uh, that you just sorry that you use to engage and disengage just one thread on the end just unscrews very simply you then have uh, a so within uh, within here this this screws in here so this is in here and the knob is screwed onto there, yeah. And then that's how that moves back and forward to engage or disengage. So unscrew the knob. There's a, a tensioning spring here. So you have to do a bit of wiggling, but you can pop that out. It, locate, it locates in there. So it's uh, the light's not so good here, is it? Let me just see have a adjust the light see if that makes it any better I'm not sure it does really uh, it just blinds me actually so um, pop the spring out then this just unscrews so then you've got that uh, mechanism to uh, engage and disengage the uh, the power feed let me put that back so I can be interrogated um, okay so then you're left with the shaft with these two fitted on the pulley and the main uh, drive uh, drive gears. So from this end uh, it's a simple screw, you unscrew that, the pulley pulls off and if you look here it's got a, a very simple keyway there. Um, which as you pull off it just slides off but the keyway is nothing special actually all it is is a tapered pin that goes through Let's see if we can get some focus oh, we're not doing too well here oh maybe ah oh, yeah so just about there is the tapered uh, the hole so the pin 
pin effectively goes through the hole and that creates the key that goes into the pulley. So you have to just tap that, tap that out carefully with a punch. Don't use excessive force because you don't want to bend the, uh, the this uh, shaft. So yeah, I had no problems taking that out. That came out fairly simple. So then that allows you to slide this bearing surface off. So just pulls off. All, all very, uh, all no no problem at all. So we then got into what became the tricky part of it. So effectively, uh, let's see if I can reassemble it. That goes in there. No, I'm doing it back to front. So you have the gears that are engaged there and so as we saw in uh, the other video that I, I did on uh, how, how the power feed works, the pulley drives this, this turns and in turn that engages with the, uh, the pulley on the uh, hand wheel and feeds, feeds everything along. So on here there's, there's a circlip, so we've got that look, uh, Sorry, I always drop it when I try to do that. Uh, just a very small circlip. So, what uh, you need some circlip pliers. I've managed to butcher this quite well. So, what I would say is it's pretty important to get some decent uh, circlip pliers. I purchased a real cheap pair. Um, they were as wobbly as hell and it was a real challenge to try and um, uh, try and remove them to remove the circlip because you actually it's inside it's inside here there's not much space as with anything on the SL it's really small so it was uh, yeah it definitely was um, a challenge so good quality circlip pliers to get that off um, so once you've taken the uh, circlip pliers off, you can then, uh, it's not the circlip, yeah, the circlip off, you can then pull the shaft out and um, and take that housing off. And you, we can see we've got the, the little uh, groove for the circlip to fit into. Now what I would say is it's pretty easy to bugger this up. And as this is one of the, you, you, effectively your bearing, you really do need to take take care to do this right. There are a few marks where I've had a good bash at it and it's um, not perfect by any, any stretch of the imagination. So what I, you know, I would um, sort of uh, advise you to be cautious with what you're doing here because it is quite easy to mess this up. And then you're getting into a whole new game where you're going to have to, you know, produce new bearings and um, and press them in there. So anyway, once that out, that's out, you can slide that out. That then allows you to push this uh, through, and you can take take the shaft out. Behind the uh, behind the circlip, you've got you've got. Uh, Two um, two sprung washers. Now these they 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 effectively go like like that. So then they keep they they're under tension there. So it ke keeps the whole uh, the whole drive and everything in tension. So they're they're important and to uh, make sure you maintain keep those. Not actually sure where you buy them. Obviously you can. So. That's it. So then that gets you to a situation where the only thing left is to 
is the two drive uh, drive gears. Now uh, there's a pin that goes through the casting and it, when you look you can see that effectively holds that in place to stop that moving up and down so that keeps that in the center. So I, I ground a small punch and uh, tap that out and it was um, it, it wasn't actually too bad it was really having something small enough to be able to tap that out so once I, I managed to get it moving got some pliers on the end and pulled it out and if we look this is this is the pin it's uh, just so so small so you really need a very small punch there and obviously with anything you can't go crazy so this is uh, pretty much where I got to it and then this is now the, the one remaining thing to do the these two um, uh, drive gears or this one this part this part and this part are held together and there's there's another pin in there now if I try and knock it through it hits the housing so and it's 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 covered it's not like I can knock a bit through and turn it around I spent bit, quite a bit of time trying to work out how to do this and I've come to the conclusion the only way is to drill it out which um, currently if you're a regular viewer uh, you will see um, I don't have a voice on the drill press in the workshop hence my uh, disc, uh, yeah, video the other day regarding that so uh, once I've sorted that out, I'll drill, drill this pin out then I should be able to get those two, uh, the two drive wheel, or sorry, drive gears um, apart. I'm quite keen to do it because it does, although it, it's quite crunchy the way it runs, it's not the smooth and when you consider that's, tri that's driving your, um, uh, your lead screw, I think it's pretty... Uh, desirable to have it running uh, well you can you can get the opposition, position but it does feels like there's a um, uh, slightly over or something or there's a burr or something something's in there that makes it just catch ever so slightly so it's not definitely not perfect and and I'm quite keen to address that um, so yeah so that's the outstanding bit once I've resolved the drill situation um, I will continue with that so that's really um, about as far as we can go with, with this. Um, so what? So the next video in this series will be on um, uh, cleaning and inspecting the various parts that we've disassembled so far, and I've got plenty of um, small containers with all the different parts in. So that's going to uh, uh, be good. So then. With a bit of luck, uh, we we can get all that. So we do the cleaning, we inspect the parts, we then decide if anything needs to be fixed, replaced, or whatever, um, and then we should then be we can start to reassemble this um, uh, as we go go along. And um, yeah, yeah, we should hopefully get it back in uh, back in the service fairly soon. Okay, uh, so as always, uh, stay. Uh, Happy, strong and healthy. Cheerio.